Motorists on Long Island will get some much needed relief soon as road work is expected to begin there in a matter of days. The Member of Parliament for Long Island, Adrian Gibson, confirmed that Bethel's trucking and heavy equipment was awarded a $4.3 million contract to carry out the work. Yesterday, the Bethel's informed me that they had just departed the dock and had left for Long Island with vessels that contained an asphalt plant, dump trucks, tar trucks, graders, D9s, service trucks, rollers, containers, etc. They also advised me that further shipments of equipment were expected as the project progressed. Sections of the Queens Highway in Central and North Long Island and various sections in South Long Island will also be resurfaced, that is from Seymour's to Clarence Town, using hot mix asphalt. Gibson says additional road work will also take place throughout Long Island. Some 117 stop signs will be erected, 122 curve signs, 92 speed limit signs, and 26 settlement signs will be erected across the aisle during hurricane walking. We lost most of our road signage, even though we had not had many of them before that time due to either previous storms or some other reason. Now, given the location of the seawalls at the curve on the Queen's Highway in Salt Pond, and given the serious accidents that have occurred there in recent years, roughly 400 feet of guardrail will now be installed adjacent to the end of the seawall.